Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I do what I want. Uh, this is the first video in my process of making a full Elizabethan ensemble based on the one that Crowley wore in the show Good Omens. Uh, this video is going to be on the pained slops or breeches or whatever you want to call them. I call them pumpkin pants, but they're the big poofy ones with the stripey type things. So the rest of the process might take a while to get uploaded or get finished or whatever because I just moved into my new dorm room. And as you'll see later in the video, most of this was filmed and made at uh, my parents' house over the summer. So I don't really have all my stuff here in my tiny little dorm room, uh, which I'm liking, but not a lot of sewing or cutting room, you know? Um, but so the process might, I don't know, take a while. Before we jump into actually showing the process of making these pants, I did want to talk about the pattern a little bit. Um, I bought it on Etsy for like $12.95 or something, and it's a very aesthetically pleasing pattern, and it came very quickly, and it shipped nice, and all of it was together and not cut or anything, uh, but I did have some troubles uh, sewing it, putting it together, uh, all of that fun jazz. The instructions I found were kind of like confusing or like some of the steps felt out of order to me. It was, it was just a really weird process and they didn't come out how I expected them to. So I ended up remaking them again, which I think you'll see in this video. Um, and I don't want to like dog on the company or whatever, but I have bought other patterns from them before and I found that this is kind of a common occurrence uh, with this company. So I don't know if it's just personal preference differences or if I just if I'm just like wild and don't know how to read a pattern or something uh, but it was weird for me so I just wanted to say that before getting into the video where you can see me struggling to get this done but I think they turned out the way that I wanted them to uh, again this is just the mock-up video so this isn't exactly what it will look like when it's done and it's just the pants so You'll have to go to a different video if you want to see how I made the doublet. Um, but yeah, so hope you like it. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm just having fun. <laughs> I like to call them pumpkin pants, but anyway, uh, I'm doing the mock-up, and since I can't do anything normal to save my life, I'm doing silk mock-ups. Anyway, uh, so right now I'm doing this on the contrasting fabric, which I dyed myself, and so it's all textury. Um, I'm also watching the Great British Bake Off as I do this, but hmm, I'm just, I'm tired, man. <laughs> uh, but, so I'm cutting out the contrasting fabric, which I got confused about, because number three on here 
says waistband and leg band, and I'm assuming these are the leg bands because it's not cut on the fold like it says, so I'm just guessing right now, but that's why I'm doing the mock-up and not cutting into my nice velvet yet, <laughs> but we'll see how this goes. <laughs> So right now I'm just laying everything out uh, according to this little picture because there aren't many actual instructions on here, but I don't know, but I think it might look better if I did this opposite with the purple on top, like the paint, even though on there it's shown, I think, as the other way, maybe? I don't know. I'm having difficulties reading this, but maybe this is the under fabric and this is the outer one, but I thought it was the other way. I thought maybe the darker was it and that was the... I don't know what's happening. Uh, but that's why I'm doing a mock-up, right? This is gonna be so ridiculous, I'm so excited, oh my god. This is a mess, but also great. And isn't that just everything that I do?
Okay, so I just stitched out this one because I laid all those pieces down there and I'm thinking that it would look much better if the end pieces matched the purple because I think it would look stupid with it matching the pink but the pattern over there doesn't really tell me what's going on at all which I guess I mean, everybody else when they make historical clothing just patterns it themselves, and I would, but that would take me so much longer, and I don't know when I'll need this by, so I'd kind of like it to get it done now, while my hyperfixation is still at full strength, you know? <laughs> uh, so I guess... I guess I'm just making it up as I go. So we'll just we'll just we'll just see what happens. Okay, so I've got everything pinned down. Not the prettiest, but it is a mock-up, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to baste around the edges so that everything stays in place and then I have to put the other side together. So I'm cutting out a whole new piece because we love it when a pattern randomly tells you you need a piece that it didn't inform you existed beforehand. Love it. Love that. Um, I also think I might have to remake the leg bands because it wasn't until after they told me to cut them out that they said where I needed to measure my thigh, so they're probably the wrong size. Um, so it's just a mess, <laughs> but they look really pretty and absolutely ridiculous, very flamboyant, and very colorful, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm using a dark colored cotton. It 
wool is black, but it's a dark colored cotton because it's going to be the lining, and cotton would make a good lining, and dark colored so that it doesn't, I don't know, get dirty as easily, I guess. But I'm having to cut the piece out like right in the middle because there are like burn marks or something on the edges. I don't know, but there's like holes and it looks like it's like burnt or something. I don't know. This is just some random scrap that I had, so at least I didn't spend any money. <laughs> okay, so I've kind of remade the leg thigh band, whatever. I took the, uh, I cut out four. I thought it told me to cut out four, but apparently only told me to cut out two, but that was a good thing so that I could cut them into three pieces and sew the correct size. Hopefully, it's the correct size. So I sewed those together and then I, uh, gathered up the edge of the pants piece uh, with my spare bit of floss from that because that's the only way I can gather things at the moment because I'm a mess but it worked uh, it's kind of rough like in that area when I sewed it uh, together but it is a mock-up so I'm not too terribly worried but it is sewn together and it does look like that so now i have to do the other piece i forgot to film any of that so i guess i'll just have to film it for the next piece so that you guys can actually see what i'm doing hopefully i don't really know what i'm doing but i'm attempting i am not too thrilled with the level of instructions in this pattern, but I am grateful to have it so that I know the shapes that I should be using. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, right now I'm re-ironing these pieces so that the, uh, the interfacing is falling off. So I'm re-ironing them and then I'm going to cut them into pieces so that I can sew it together for the leg band since one of them isn't long enough but two of them is too long so oh well Okay, so I've stitched the pieces together in the areas it told me, I don't know. Um, and so now I'm going to be matching up the leg band to the bottom of the lining piece, which might take some finagling, but it will be fine, I'm sure. Um, and then I think I'm supposed to flip it and finish it and I think I'm close to being done which I'm excited about. I hope these look absolutely ridiculous. from the future, I don't know. I'm editing right now and I just realized that the next clip has absolutely no uh, context for the change in lining fabrics. Um, as you can see in the last clip, 
I got frustrated at the end of it because the lining was a completely different size than uh, the outer layer and it did not fit at all the way it was telling me to put it together and I was very frustrated and I was very tired um, so I completely remade the lining and I remade it based on the outer layer of it um, the outer pattern piece I just made it out of a different fabric and I was done with it so I was just like I'm just gonna sew it together so I did and so the next clip is me showing you what it looks like, I guess.
still using a little crisscross strokes. Build a sky. Just fill it up. Now you can use this lavender color against the yellow without it turning bright green. Because it's okay, so I put them right sides together, and I'm going to sew from the point all the way up on one side, and from the point up part of the way on the other side, so that I can put some sort of closure in. And then I'm going to make the lining, I think. This is what I bought for the lining. I didn't really have anything that would work for what I want it to work for. So I went to Walmart and they had this, which is kind of like a like terry cloth on the inside, but kind of like a jersey on the outside. I don't know, it's definitely not um, historically accurate, but I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm just going to make it comfortable and easy and not historically accurate because I don't know what I'm doing in the first place, so what does it really matter? <laughs> 